Hey everybody, it's been a while since our last video, so we wanted to check in on you. First of all, how are you doing? I hope you are safe and healthy wherever you're at. Our lives have changed, haven't they, the last few weeks? Now, as a teacher, I am remote teaching, and that has changed my day. My husband is working, but not as much, so we do have more time here on the farm. So, we're going to take a walk around and show you some of the things that we're up to today. We're going to take a sneak peek on some things in the garden. jugs as we are today. A trick of the trade is to use an old kiddie pool filled with water and since there's drainage holes on the bottom it will water, as you can see the water dripping out, it will water your uh, dirt for you. And that way it's a lot easier than going through and trying to water the jugs afterwards. So that's what we're doing over here. Um, we're going to continue doing this and letting these um, get watered and then we'll plant our seeds. We're going to plant a couple different tomatoes in this jug right now. Okay, so Levi's gonna spray it. As you can see, I took a marker and wrote on it. Get it good and wet. Okay, that's good. All right, and the last step is we're gonna take some duct tape and wrap it around. So it looks like these over here. And then we leave them out. Um, it doesn't matter that it's outside. It doesn't matter if it rains or if it snows um, until the, they'll germinate because as you can see right here, there's condensation building up in here and it has a greenhouse effect where it warms the inside. After these have been out for a while, if you stick your finger down in here, it's much warmer than out here. So that's why you can do this if you don't have a greenhouse. So happy planting, guys. So something else we found useful here on the Almost Heaven Homestead is uh, these are a product called Azomite. Azomite is uh, trace minerals. It's actually from volcanic ash. It's, uh, it's organic, and so there's nothing that's going to burn a plant in there. It adds necessary nutrients, which is uh, which has really helped out our plants. We get a lot more flowers out of our flowering trees. You can use it really on anything, um, and it doesn't take a whole lot. It's, it's really not a, a difficult science. Um, they recommend about uh, five to ten pounds depending on the trunk size of your tree. So if you're doing a really large tree, obviously it's going to take more. If you can see that very good there, but uh, it's just, uh, it's these pelletized. It's actually going to be a time release and uh, just got a bunch of nutrients that are used. Apply this, you're going to apply it around the drip line of the tree. Break the mulch back, sprinkle the azomite all around the tree, and then I'll put the mulch back in place and that'll keep it moist. It'll be a time release. It'll help these trees. Fruit trees have all been mulched today, so that looks really nice. We have quite a few more bare root trees coming from Start Brothers, so we'll add a few more out here, and then we actually have a new development out here on the homestead, 
possibly another new orchard. Wood chips just aren't good for the vegetable garden. They're also great for your flowers too. We have daffodils, irises, and lilies in this bed, and they thrive in the mulch, especially the lilies. They absolutely love the extra moisture and pop through eight inches or more of mulch every year. Now, usually we put this down in the fall. We did not get to this year, so we're doing an early spring um, mulching out here, but they will thrive and they will love it. Hey guys, I'm dirty. It's been a long day, but it's been a good day. I'm tired. I hope y'all come back.